every distraction would be silenced. It would be your presence, Lord God, that we would seek as a refuge and as a home.
gentle hands of healing there inside the scars your loving arms they draw me near and your smile it brings me peace draw me closer Jesus. 
as we draw so near to you would you draw so near to us oh, as we draw you draw so near to us as we draw so near to you would you draw
for the watchman to sing for he has posted his watchman on the walls for he has posted his watchman on the walls he has posted his watchman on the walls and they will not be silent they will not be silent they will not be silent Strong instead, you cause his wrath. 
going to a time of intercession for Israel, uh, I, would, I would like to just, I'm going to read just scripture over you first, uh, and then I'll be reading the same passage over Israel. Uh, Israel can kind of be a hard topic to pray for as we're growing in our heart for it, but I want us to intercede for Israel out of the place of rest. So first, uh, understand that when you intercede, it is out, out of a place of victory. It is out of a place of rest. That rest is a weapon. Okay. So I just invite you to just open your hands to receive as I uh, just declare the scripture over you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path, paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear, fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, now I'm going to declare this over Israel. Okay, so I just ask you to come into agreement as I declare over Israel. The Lord is Israel's shepherd. She shall not want. He makes her lie down in green pastures. He leads her beside still waters. He restores her soul. He leads her in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though Israel walk, walks through the valley of the shadow of death, she will fear no evil. For you are with her. Your rod and your staff, they comfort her. You prepare a table before her in the presence of her enemies. You anoint her head with oil. Her cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow her all the days of her life. And she shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we thank you, O Lord, that, yeah, that, that you are a Lord of relationship. That that is foremost. Before... Uh, just praying and contending things on your behalf before uh, asking things and petitioning things before you. First and more, foremost, it is relationship with you. And so I ask, Lord, that you would just uh, show us what it means to yeah, know the seasons that we are in and to find joy and comfort in knowing that you are always with us even when we can't sense your presence, that we understand that you are faithful, that you are loving, that you are, you are uh, covering us, that you are with us in all of it. 
So now as we come into a time of intercession for Israel, we want to uh, pray on behalf of her out of that place of victory, out of that place of rest, out of the place of knowing who you are and understanding that there is already victory with you. Yeah, we just uh, take up our authority in Christ at this time. And we ask, Lord, that you will give us more of your heart as we uh, pray these uh, truths over Israel, as we declare uh, the scripture over Israel. Okay, so we will be praying out of uh, Isaiah 62, 6 through 12, okay, for Israel. Uh, so I just, as I lead out in prayer, come into agreement with me. And then afterwards, just lift up your intercession to the Lord. And I just invite you to uh, just feel comfortable uh, to intercede as you feel led, whether clapping or shouting or uh, standing up or walking around. We declare that the watchmen are taking their place for Israel, Lord, that you are, they are just rising up, you are stirring it in their hearts. We break off all blurriness upon their eyesight and we declare uh, just 2020 vision, clear vision that they can see uh, the gifting that you have given to every single watchman, whether it is to see close up or to see far off in the distance. But we declare clear vision for them. We just declare an alertness where there may be apathy, where there may be weariness. We declare just a strengthening upon your watchmen, a continuous steadfastness upon your watchmen, that they will understand the calling that you are calling them to, that they will understand that there's already victory in you. We ask, Lord, that you would just release uh, dreams and visions, O oh Lord, the prophetic to your watchmen, Lord, as they sleep, O oh Lord, as uh, they come into uh, listening to your voice, Lord, that you would just give those words, Lord, that you would give uh, insight, O oh Lord, and understanding. So we just right now, we declare awakening and arising of your watchmen at this hour. Let's pray. Isaiah 62, 8 through 9 of over Israel. God, you have promised, O Lord, you have promised, O Lord, that you shall bless Israel, O Lord, that she shall eat the fruit, O God, of her labor. 
So we just come against the thief who comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and we come against the leeches who try to uh, distrain or take away, oh God, the things that belong to Israel. We declare, Lord, that you, you are the Almighty and that you are moving on Israel's behalf. We declare a just awakening upon Israel that she may embrace her inheritance in Christ, the fullness that you have given her, every single blessing that you have given her. And we just establish Israel in thanksgiving and praise that as she, she praises you with her mouth, Lord, that you will just bring clarity to her, O oh Lord. You bring understanding to her that all the riches that you have for her. Let's pray. We just lift up to you, the forerunners, Lord. We declare, Lord, just a renewed vision and strength to the forerunners that they shall not grow weary, they shall not grow faint, Lord. But we just thank you for the calling you have on their lives. And they will understand, oh Lord, that they are covered in your grace, that they have the anointing to break through, to prepare the way. So we declare, our Lord, that they are entering the gate, they are going through the gates and preparing the way for Israel. We establish them in a place of thanksgiving. They lack in nothing, but they have the fullness in Christ. We pray, oh God, that you would just equip them yeah, to remove every single obstacle and declare a clear way before Israel, that the, the pathway is before Israel, Lord, that we are preparing it, Lord. Your forerunners are preparing, your watchmen are preparing the way for Israel. And we proclaim that the torches shall shine bright. They shall shine bright. Declaring, declaring that Jesus Christ is coming, declaring that Jesus Christ uh, is on his way, that to look to him, the eyes need to turn to him and look to him. So we declare these torches are not diminishing, but they are just going stronger minute by minute, day by day, to just declare 
the coming of Jesus Christ and for the fullness of the promises for Israel to come into fulfillment. Let's pray. Just as we recognize that you are God of relationship, you are God of love, we proclaim this over Israel, Lord, that you are, that you reveal yourself as love to Israel, that you just want to uh, be with her, that you just want to be in your presence, you desire her, you pursue her. We speak just declaring who you are over Israel, Lord, that you are good to her, that you are a protector, that you are a peace, that you are pursuing her, that you have not forsaken her. You call her lovely. You declare, we declare that she belongs to you. So we pray, Lord, that for this understanding, that by your Holy Spirit, that Israel understand that Jesus is her reward. Jesus is who she needs. Yeah, so we just uh, declare the salvation of Israel. Just that may she, you're just awakening the sons and daughters that she may uh, recognize her inheritance in you. She may recognize her salvation in you. Uh, we declare the salvation for Israel. Let's pray.
Thank you, Lord, that you hear every single prayer tonight. Yeah, every single prayer that we pray, that as yeah, two more are gathered, Lord, that you are with us, oh Lord. There is power as we pray together, as your people come together and pray on behalf of Israel. And Lord, we just uh, know, we recognize, Lord, that you see everywhere, that nothing is hidden from your sight, that your spirit moves to and fro all across the earth, Lord, just looking for those who you have open hearts for looking for those, Lord, who desire to know you. So we thank you, O oh Lord, that you're encountering yeah, those, O oh Lord, by your spirit, O oh Lord, you're encountering those, Lord, yeah, who you call your own. And you're just awakening, awakening them to recognize who you are and what it means to be in relationship with you and understanding what it means, uh, Jesus Christ, who you are as their Savior. So we just declare uh, just a move of your spirit within Israel. And we thank you, Lord, that you're just awakening your sons and your daughters in Israel.
by the grace in his eyes his grace is an ocean we're all sinking and heaven meets earth like a sloppy wet kiss and my heart turns in your unfailing love for us. Your ability to love us through the valley of the shadow of death. The ability to love us through our rebellion, our sins, our unwillingness to come before you. Lord God, your love is able to break every wall, break every barrier and win our trust. Praise becomes so easy when we understand the truth of your love over us, your unfailing commitment for us, God. And we thank you, God, that the same promise that you have spoken over us, the same unwillingness to let us go, Lord God, has also been spoken over your people and over your children in Israel. We thank you, God, that you will not let them go. You will not give up on them. You have not forgotten your Israel. We thank you, God, that even at this hour, you're raising up watchmen on the walls. Lord God, they will not be silent day. They will not be silent during the night. And they will usher in, Lord God, your coming. People, Lord God, that will stand in the gap on behalf of your people. And they will prepare the way of the Lord. We thank you, God, for this supernatural work that you are doing at this hour. Lord God, and we come into agreement with it. And we ask for you, Lord God, to continue to pour out 
your spirit upon your people, that we would pray, that we would seek, that we would hunger, that we would cry out, Lord God, for more of you. We thank you, God, for your works. We thank you, God, for your love over us. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. We hope that you are blessed and you uh, got a glimpse of God's heart for his people in Israel. We hope that you were also able to get a glimpse of God's heart for you as well and that this revelation will continue to carry you out uh, throughout this week. So thank you guys for joining us. We hope that you have a great night. We hope that we see you next week as well. Have a great night.